What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a a chance to get a shout out in the next video. That is right, guys. So you guys wanted it, you guys are getting it. Janice is in the hot seat. We are gonna be asking her very, very uncomfortable questions today. I'm I, coming more I ain't uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Yeah, right. I bet I'll make you real uncomfortable with like the first three questions. Yeah, you're right. Guaranteed. You're yeah, right. And you have to answer them honestly. You cannot lie. You cannot sugarcoat. You cannot try to squirm away from the question. What was that? Squirm away Period. from the question. All right. Don't try to do that. You got to answer the question. They want it. Whatever, bro. You got to give it to them just like how you give it to me. You, you know what? We're not doing this right now. Like, we're not getting into that. <laughs> All right, not. guys. So without further ado, let's get into the first question. Here we go. First question. Does your cat post when you see me? Or in general, if we're doing anything, does your cat post? Yes or no? Yeah, it sometimes. does. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It'd it be, it be like, 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 like rapid. That's what I'm talking about. See, I knew, I knew I was the one for it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Second question: Have you considered secretly leaving me at any point in our relationship? Not Don't secretly. Lie. Don't. Okay, so you have. Anytime that I get into feeling some type of way, I acknowledge it with you. You do. So no, I, I'm never secretive about anything. If I want to leave, I'm gonna tell you. There. Yes, there was an incident. We should do a story time about that one there. Maybe we'll think, I don't know, I'll think about it. There, there was there was once upon a time where she tried. Well, not tried, but she thought about it. Next question. Most embarrassing thing you've ever told me? There's been a lot of embarrassing things, but what is yeah. the most embarrassing thing you've ever told me? Yo, honestly, I feel like this is the most embarrassing thing to this day, and it's probably not even that embarrassing, but what? I peed on myself for my ninth birthday because I was laughing so hard. That's it? Yes, because it was so embarrassing. Because, Out of all like, the things. All right, listen. There were these like cool kids I had invited like from the hood or whatever and they was like well known in the hood so I was like oh they're at my birthday party so whatever we were all joking around and stuff like that and then I ended up like peeing myself but it wasn't a little bit of pee like I was sitting on the floor and it spread throughout the whole floor it was like a lot I would have called you pissy pants from now on no but nobody knew it was me because there was drinks on the floor so I was like yo who How? spilled their drink you peed on yourself. How would they not know it? Because I was sitting on the floor, and then the puddle was like surrounding a whole bunch of us. So that I was like, "You're Yo. nasty. <laughs> You're nasty. You know that? You made a I piss puddle. I couldn't hold it. You made a piss I puddle. I couldn't hold it. Little did I know, I had endometriosis, and you know that's the issue. Bro, that there. was not playing a factor that long. Yes, ago. sir. No way. It had to because ever since I was little, don't blame that don't blame your small bladder on the on the endometriosis. Okay, I just probably just have a small bladder then, but Man, yo, you pissed on yourself. Just keep it real. I've had bladder issues since a kid. Like you, know, you just don't know how to use the dang toilet. No, bro, it was too funny. Like I was laughing too hard. I just couldn't hold it. Whatever. What can I say? All right. Well, next question. Have you ever used a toy? No. Do you ever wanted to? Have you ever wanted to use a toy? Um, when that little thing was trending on TikTok, the flower thing, I was a little interested, but like, people were saying that it was getting stuck on them and stuff like that, so I was like, you oh. you didn't tell me? Babe, I did tell you. Don't even act like I didn't. You told me about a flower toy? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Can and I said it was- it? What? Can we find it? Babe, remember, I was, gonna, I was telling you, I was gonna buy it for my best friend for her birthday. I you, did tell you that. You, no, you did tell me that. No, I remember. Okay. Mm, exactly. You, you got it, you got it, you got it. Ooh, we're getting a little personal now. Here we oh, go. Oh God. Do you trim or shave? No. Oh, that I, I I get laser, so like I don't really have to shave anymore. She gets laser everywhere. Everywhere. It's amazing. It is, right? It is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yo, answer this one. This one you asked me, but I gotta know. What? Have you ever scratched and sniffed? Don't you lie, Janice. Did you ever scratch and sniff? I don't scratch and sniff, like I don't scratch, but like Bro. I have like, you so know, you, smelled. You wiped and smelled? Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Cause Recently? you gotta make, mm, yeah. You always gotta make sure you're good down there, you know what I mean? I respect it, okay, just don't do it in front of me because I don't know how I feel about it. No, it's like, you know, <laughs> like if you first wake up and stuff like that, you're like, okay, I gotta smell good, whatever, you're fresh out the shower, and I, I'm gonna wash my I was gonna say, you're, like, you just came out the shower, you better smell good. Yeah, so you like, soap. you know, you just gotta make sure you smell good at all times, but okay. don't forget to wash your hands out there. I respect it, I respect it. Has it, now that leads into my next question, has it ever smelled down there? Don't lie. Don't no. lie. 
you're such a liar. I'm not a liar. 100% you're telling the truth that is never it has never smelled down there in your whole life. Mm -mm. 24 years of existence. That's crazy. I give you props. Nope, I'm always taking care of myself. I give you props. Okay, I give you props. Now this one I've wanted to know for some time now. Mm -hmm. Do girls play with their own uh, boobs? Yes, I do it all the time. Yeah, I do too. Like, what the hell? That's not even a question. I'd be sitting there like, don't you I just had, a, I had to know that. I, I just had to know Especially that. if you have big boobs. Like, sometimes they be heavy. I be trying to lift them up. So, I guess if you think that's playing with them, then that's playing with them. I guess. <laughs> All right. What was the first time like? And you know what I'm talking about. What was the first time like? And be 100% honest because a lot of people, they have so many different stories. My first time was scary. My first time hurt. My first time was amazing. Be 100% honest here. I promise you, I don't even remember. That doesn't sound good. I don't though. That does not sound good. Okay, well I guess we'll leave it at that then. Uh, <laughs> all right, wow, there, there's that. Have you ever thought of someone else while doing it? No. Oh my God, that's so bad. Are you sh are you 100% sure? I'm 100% sure. You never thought about like Cole Sprouse? Ew, no. You never thought about Zayn from One Direction? Have you? First of all, I don't even like Zayn from One Direction. I'm just like saying, that. man, Harry Styles, I'm a Harry's I, girl. whoever. Have you ever thought about it? No, not while we're doing it. No, but okay. like in the past when I was younger, you've thought about it. What it'd be like with Harry Styles? Yes. Interesting. Now okay. I'm like. Interesting. No. I respect. <laughs> I respect the honesty. Okay. Okay. Last question kind of personal okay. not sure if you'd be okay answering it but you have to what is your bra size ew that's for all the creeps out there you really want everybody what to is your bra size Janice I bet you I know it and you could correct me if I'm wrong D say it we're gonna go with a 34 34 and it's gonna be triple D you're so close for now double D no 32 32. Damn it! It used to be 34. <laughs> it used to be 34, but I lost weight. Oh, period. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Go off. Go off. All right, so, all right, now be honest here. Now, this is really the last question. Did I make you uncomfortable at all during this video? No, I thought I was going to be so uncomfortable. I thought you the know what? Was you know what? I was trying to be nice, and I was, like, holding back on some real personal questions. I feel yeah, like I'm good. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna like really get into it next time. No, honestly, though, don't because I'm not answering them. I don't care. You have to. No. Yes, you do. No, because it's nobody's business. But you have to. No. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, Infinite Fam, if you guys want a part two with me in the hot seat or her in the hot seat, please let us know down below in the comment section. Also, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. You guys, anything else you want to say? No, but that didn't make me uncomfortable at all. Like, those are all questions. All right, we I get like, it. Like, I was finally answering that. I thought I was going to be way more nervous. We get it. Dang, bro. All right, so now it is time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Valdrick. It's literally just Valdrick in the comment section. Shout out to you, bro. Thank you so much for the love and support. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you guys gotta do is what? Like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And with all that being said, we will catch you in the next banger.